Hello, the other day we had a lady in our ICU intubated for severe encephalopathy to protect her airways. And as you see here, she was placed on um, the AC, uh, sorry, in VC volume control mode, assist control trigger, and the trigger was flow as you see here. Uh, her respiratory rate 14, tidal volume was properly set at 6.6 mL per kg of her ideal body weight and the rate, the flow rate was 50 liter per minute which was really proper and it's a deceleration ramp how the flow was delivered and we noticed while we rounding on her, her peak pressure was elevated at 33 with no clear reason she was properly sedated not biting the tube not having any signs of COPD or asthma exacerbation and we wanted to know why and investigate it and we did that pretty quickly and I advise you to go and watch video number 45 46 and 47 from our mechanical ventilation playlist in our channel to refresh your memory about this. So just quickly to refresh your memory, PIP or peak inspiratory pressure is the maximum proximal airway in pressure during inspiration, right? And this is made of resistive RP pressure, resistive pressure plus elastic pressure. And we said this belong to the airways and this belong to alveoli or the lung and we said this equal the resistive pressure to flow multiplied by resistance plus and the alveolar pressure is tidal volume divided by compliance and we said tidal volume and compliance is equivalent to what we call alveolar pressure right or will come to the name uh, the plateau pressure name pretty soon so what we did here we simply performed what we call inspiratory pause or hold maneuver as you see here and it's a simple button you push here uh, you can easily find it it's not uh, showing here on this picture but you can simply and quickly uh, find it or you can ask respiratory therapist and will guide you and here the maneuver is completed as you see here the plateau pressure was 15 centimeter h2o and from its name the this is the the pressure at the end of inspiration when we hold the flow the flow is zero so the uh, proximal airway pressure will be equivalent to flow which is 50 Mul uh, 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 sorry flow will be zero multiplied by resistance which we don't know we cannot measure here directly plus the plateau pressure plateau pressure 15 centimeters plateau pressure is the maximum alveolar pressure during inspiration cycle and which is measured at the end of inspiration the lungs receive the whole volume and now we hold the air we don't allow it to leave the alveoli and then we measure the pressure we call it then plateau pressure which is a, a measurement of the compliance as well so it's 15 that means that 33 centimeter h2o here was equivalent to resistive pressure plus 15 so we figured that this probably around 18 centimeter h2o by looking at this we know the patient was properly sedated has a proper tidal volume a proper flow rate then we figure it's gonna be a resistance in the airway that's a problem we knew that this patient has no COPD or asthma as exacerbation there's no mucus plugs or heavy secretions and so we looked into we found that the reason was a small size ET tube was smaller than what the patient needs luckily this patient was extubated quickly and we didn't 
need to do much but let's say she was still intubated uh, to be honest with you, we would have not done much if her peak pressure remained less than 35 um, because the other mechanics are doing okay this is just give you a quick example of how sometimes need to investigate the peak and spiritual pressure again this patient we knew that the other factors are not contributing she's properly serrated proper tidal volume proper flow rate and then we check the plateau pressure so we knew it's something in the airways we knew she doesn't have copd exacerbation or asthma exacerbation or any kind of airway disease or mucus plug so and so we looked into the et tube and we found it it has a small size as you know et tubes has different size uh, i think 6.5 7 7.5 7 8 depends on the size of the of the patients thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board